Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you are inspired along the way. So today I have a Bible journaling page to share with you. And to start off this page, I'm just using some Distress Oxide ink here in my Bible. And this is the blending brush from the Rabbit Hole Designs. This is called the Cottontail Blending Brushes, and they are so great. I love using them. So I'm just inking up the whole page in my Bible. And as I do that, as you watch this process with me, and I am able to share the word with you, I will go ahead and actually tell you what the passage is that I will be creating with today. So I am going to be creating in my Bible in Colossians, and I'm journaling about Colossians 3.15, and it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace, and be thankful. So we want God to be in our hearts, and you're going to see how I use the, the stamps in a little bit here to have a little play on words with that. But I am just adding some water droplets to this page to react with the inks. And then I went ahead and used my heat tool to dry that up so I could move on to the next steps. And I did go ahead and prep the page before because the water holds better with the prep page and I use some clear gesso for that. So the stamp set I am using here is from Milan Fawn and it is Occupy My Heart. So the little octopus and the sentiment that I'm going to stamp down in a bit after I color the image is You Occupy My Heart. So as it says here, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart since as members of one body you are called to peace. We want God to occupy our hearts and we want to be at peace and it's not easy to be at peace, but if we allow God to occupy our hearts, we can feel peace and we can ask God for peace and we can find his joy in everything and and he can he can give you that peace that you need for for your day. And it might not look peaceful all day, but you know that God is there with you when you allow him into your heart and into your day and into your life. And even when everything is going crazy around you or you just don't feel at peace, try to be thankful because I know that for me, sometimes things aren't easy and I don't feel like I'm at peace, but I try and be thankful so that things make a little bit more sense or you can find joy in the situations that are not easy and that are, are more difficult. That's how I look at this verse. And I'm just going ahead and coloring up some more octopuses from the Lawn Fawn set Ocean Ocean shel Shelfie? I can never say that. Shelfie. Um, so that is that stamp set. I thought that the one octopus was just not enough for this big page. So I'm going ahead and coloring those in. And the verse before this, Colossians 3.14 says, And over all the virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. So we need the love of God to flow into our hearts and flow into our life so that it can flow out and that we can put on his peace and find rest in him and go to him with everything. So I, as you can see, I stamped out those words from the Lawn Fawn stamp set, You Occupy My Heart. And then I added the words Jesus from a stamp set that I had in my collection for Bible journaling. And so, yeah, let Jesus occupy your hearts this week and in the weeks to come. Allow him in. See how he can transform your life. See the peace that he can give you. And just let him in. Because... 
through God, you can do great things and you can feel at peace. And yeah, going to God just, it it makes me feel like I'm not alone. And especially as the world is not the same right now, we can give him our requests on how we want it to go back to normal. But when we feel alone because we might not be able to see people like we see them anymore, we can go to him and not be alone in the craziness of life. So to finish off this page, I just added some puffy heart stickers that I had in my collection. And that finishes off today's Bible journal page. Super quick, super simple, but there's so much power in the word of God. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this inspired you to get close to God this week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.